Today, to prime my eyes, I'll be using the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion and putting that all over my eyelids where I will be putting the eyeshadows. And to set the eye primer, I'll be using the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Day Loose Powder in Translucent and putting that all over my eyelid as well. And to start my eyeshadow, I'll be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and using Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange together as my transition color. If you haven't purchased the Modern Renaissance Palette, I really, really, really suggest that you do because it's such a versatile palette and it's super, super easy to blend. Next up, I'll be using the NYX Avant Pop eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use this, I want to say purple fuchsia type of color and I'm going to use that over the transition color just to add a little bit of that purple base. Next up, I'll be using this purple shade called Epic from NYX Single Shadows line and I'll be putting that as my definer on the outskirts of my eyes. I'm also going to slightly put some over my crease just to give my eyes some definition. And then I'm going to go over that with the NYX Nude Matte Shadow in Skinny Dip. And it's a really awesome taupe color and I'm just going to dab it lightly on the corners of my eyes. And don't be afraid to build up the shadow because it creates a really cool smoky eye look. And also make sure to blend it all out. Then I'm going to take Wet n Wild's Comfort Zone palette. It took me forever to find one, but I finally did at a local Walgreens. And then I'll be taking the definer color at the bottom right and using that as a base color for my eyelid. And I want to show you guys the eyelash carrier and also the lashes at the bottom, which are both from Daiso. And today's mascara, I'll be using the... Whoops! Sorry, I was holding upside down. But I was using the Tarteus Mascara from Tarte. And it's really, really awesome and it gives you so much volume. Now, this is what I usually do when I put on makeup. I use Vaseline to moisturize my lips so that it has time to be all soft while I do my face makeup. And then later on, I can do my lips. Now, I promised you guys a way to make your foundation dewy for dry skin. And I usually use this NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer as a serum because it really does a good job of hydrating my face underneath all of that makeup. And to achieve that flawless skin, I'm going to use the Benefit Porefessional Primer just to hide my large pores and make my foundation look really smooth. Now it's time for foundation! I love using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow foundation and I use the shade 207. Now this foundation is perfect for dry skin because it's very moisturizing as well as it gives you a nice glow without looking oily. Now I'm going to take a damp beauty sponge by Real Techniques and I'll be patting that gently all over my face. Make sure to blend all the way down to your neck to make the foundation more natural looking instead of having like a cut off around your face. As you can see, the original redness that I had totally disappeared because this foundation has awesome coverage. Then I'm going to use my favorite concealer, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand. And I'm going to cover my dark circles and any other imperfections that are on my face. And to help with highlighting, I'm going to make these little Adidas tree looking thingies on my chin, making a line on the bridge of my nose, and then another Adidas sign on my forehead. And I always, always use this concealer because it gives such a nice brightening effect to your face. Using a dry beauty blender this time, I'll be using the loose powder from before and using that to set my makeup. So lightly dab it underneath your eyes where you had previously placed your concealer just to make sure that you know you won't crease the concealer later on. Now for my 
contour slash bronzer i'll be using the benefit hula bronzer and using that to slightly contour my nose i'm also gonna bring that contour up to my forehead and making sure to blend it all the way to my hairline to make it more natural i'm also making sure to contour my jawline to make it look more prominent then i'm gonna make a line with the translucent powder to make that bronzer that contour look really really sharp and i forgot to do this earlier but i'll be taking the milani eyeshadow in bella chiffon which is a nice uh white glittery type of shade and using that to brighten out my eyes after about 10 minutes, it's time to finally dust off the first part of our baking. For my blush, I'm going to use the Milani Powder Blush in the shade Coral Cove. I find that using um, colors like these bring out a more youthful look to your makeup. So I'm just brushing it on the tops of my cheeks and after I like to take off the rest of the loose powder from my face and just softening up my face now. I'll be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and I believe Opal and I'll be using that as sort of like a base for my highlight. So I'm putting that where I'm going to put my highlight normally so my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, uh, my temples. And I like to do this because not only does it make your highlight last longer, but it brings out more of the shine. And you know that's what you want to have a dewy look. Then I'm using another Becca product, the Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill, and putting that where I put the Shimmering Skin Perfector. And this step I like to do after I do the highlighting because I tend to get glitter or the rest of the highlight all over my eyebrows. And so I like to touch it up with the Essence Make Me Brow uh, Mascara Brow. Now it's time for the lips. I love using the NYX lip liner and especially in the shade SPL828, I believe, because it's so creamy and it stays on for quite a long time. Now for the lip color, I'm going to use Meet Matte Hughes Liquid Lipstick by The Balm. It's actually my first time trying it and I'm in love with the color. It's very pretty and very wearable and everyday. And so that all of our hard work will last all day, I'll be using the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray to give my skin that last hydration.